All right, Bolo Buddies, I got 42 minutes of digging for you. We are at the Goodwill Bins. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies, 42 minutes of digging. Are you guys ready for this? You get to listen to me chat with you for 42 minutes. Um, I do choose to do voiceovers just because um, I did kind of like a poll on my channel for if people liked the background noise or if they preferred the voiceover. And most of you said you prefer the voiceover. So let me know down in the comments what you prefer. Also, I like to ask everybody watching to please participate. And what does that mean? That means that as you're watching, if you see something that you would have picked up that I missed, timestamp it down in the comments with what you would have picked up and why. So that little raft thing, um, I'm guessing it goes to like a Barbie or a baby doll or something, but I had no luck with Google Lens. So that is sitting at my house to the side and I'm trying to figure out what it is. So if anybody recognized that unicorn looking raft, please let me know down in the comments. I'm really hoping somebody's going to know what it is so that I can get it listed. So what do I mean by timestamp? Uh, just put like um, three minutes, 12 seconds or whatever. Um, I saw you pick up this and I would have picked it up because, all right, these are a bolo. Anytime I see these, I snag them up super fast. There are different variations and some go for more than others. That little dinosaur, I just thought it was different. So I went ahead and grabbed it, got that listed. So if you see a screenshot that means it is available in my eBay store. My eBay store is linked down below if you'd like to check it out. Um, if it sells, I will let you know that the item already sold and I will put um, a little sold banner beside it. Now, most of these items were just recently listed, so you're not gonna see a whole lot of solds in this video. Um, a lot of times YouTubers will hold their videos and wait a while before they post it so that they have solds to show you guys. But really, I just want to pump out the videos. So um, this past month, I've been listing like crazy, trying to get um, all of my Goodwill Bins stuff listed so that I could bring you guys some footage of the Goodwill Bins because I've really been slacking. So I listed that little Elmo. It did not work, unfortunately. And I got that little doll listed. I really like toys and plush. You're going to find that out if you watch me. Um, I will pretty much pick up anything, but I do have a tendency to stay away from the clothing. That's not really my thing. I am more of a hard goods girl. Uh, if you want a little, uh, I guess, feedback on who I am, I actually used to be a full-time clothing reseller, retail arbitrage. That's how it all started out for me. I have been doing hard goods probably, I'm going to say maybe five years now. So really just, I love it. I love it. It's so much more fun. So I did find some costume jewelry here and I have this put to the side in, in a little like Ziploc baggie. I uh, still have to go through that. So none of that is listed, but anytime I see costume jewelry, it weighs nothing. So of course, I am definitely going to pick up anything that is jewelry in nature because you just never know. Um, I know people have uh, pulled gold out of the Goodwill bins. Um, Where Pigs Fly Farm, I know that she bought something and I think she found a gold chain in it. And speaking of Where Pigs Fly Farm, you should definitely go check out her YouTube channel. She hasn't put a lot of content out recently, but she does have some older footage and I'm hoping she's going to be back soon. But um, they have a nonprofit eBay store and they have over 500 rescue animals and they have a farm and they use eBay and YouTube to help provide for the animals. So really, really a cool um, story behind it. And I have a whole video on like a what sold video where I talk about it and I'll try to remember to link it down below. But if not, definitely go check out Where Pigs Fly Farm. And 
This right here, these were sealed CDs of some nature. I'm not really sure. I left those behind. Would you guys have grabbed them? This little fox, any loveys, I'm picking them up. Unless they are just like torn to pieces or disgustingly dirty, I am picking them up. Um, I will throw them in the washing machine and people will look for them for their kids. I did find these socks in the original packaging, they say brides made. So the next item I find is this little VTech car and I find these all the time. So I went ahead and put one of those over on whatnot in my buy it now section for $3. So if anybody's interested in checking out my buy it now section over on whatnot, that would be awesome. And you guys can follow me there. Um, I am Bolo Buddies on whatnot and there is a link down below. And if you use that link to join, you can get $15 to shop. So uh, definitely take advantage of that referral link down below and join whatnot. Uh, the remote control that you guys saw, that goes to a dinosaur. I have sold that before. It is a nice little bolo. However, I got it home and realized that the battery compartment cover was missing. So I just showed that in the photo and I'm selling it for parts. All right, we are going to keep digging here. I know I bought this, but... I have not listed it yet. I don't know if I didn't have any batteries to test it or I don't know what I did with it, but it is somewhere in my money pile. So either I bought it today or I bought it another day, but I know I've got a couple of those somewhere. Maybe it was a different day because it didn't look like I put it in my cart. DVDs. I will pick them up if they are sealed. Um, these right here are transformers. They're called rescue bots. And they're really, really easy to transform, usually two or three steps. Um, they're for smaller kids. They are a major bread and butter, usually long tail, but I will pick them up if I see them. I have found a few variations that can go in the $20 range, but um, those are harder to find. All right, we are going to keep digging here. Always open things up, look inside. I always look in bags, boxes. I want to know what's hiding. That was another rescue bot. Um, I don't, I think I put that one to the side. I'm kind of making toy bundles right now. So I've got Ziploc bags and I'm putting like items together. And then I'm going to do small bundles or lots and maybe quite possibly some toy boxes. I haven't quite decided exactly what I'm going to do um, with all of those toys yet. So just separating and sorting at this time. So if you see me put something in my cart and you don't see a screenshot, it means that I am going to be making a lot out of it or I threw it back in the bin. Just because I put it in my cart does not mean I walk out the door with it. Um, a lot of times I do, <laughs> but sometimes I put things back. Always important to... Um, at the end, after you've looked through all of the bins, to go back around the bins again. Typically, you're going to see um, throwbacks out on the edges. Um, I know that's where I put my throwbacks. And a lot of times, I pick up people's throwbacks because a lot of times people will not mess with the bread and butter, and I will. Uh, this deer right here is a stocking holder. I think it's brass. I did not end up getting it. I'm not sure why. Um, maybe the ears were wonky or the horns or what do you call them? The antlers. <laughs> um, so I left that behind. I think I got this, but I don't know what it is. So it's just sitting to the side for now. Um, anything that's like that, I mean, it's cheap enough to just test it. So I did go to the Goodwill bins recently and I had talked about it in another video that I expected that there was going to be another price increase. So the day that I went in this video, it was $1.89 a pound. And it is now $1.99 a pound at my bins. So let me know down in the comments, what is your bins price? How often do they change it? Because it seems like every six or so months, it's going up for us. So I imagine it's going to be over $2 here shortly. So that makes it harder to source because you have to be definitely more selective when you're paying by the pound because a lot of that stuff is pretty heavy. I am checking out this plush. I couldn't get it to work. I ended up leaving that one behind. 
Um, that's something, there's quite a few things I put into my cart, which is the tote. Um, no carts that day. Uh, we have a supply problem with carts. So a lot of times I have to use a tote unless I'm like right there first in the door to get a cart. All right. This little guy I did pick up. I thought he was really cute. He's a little wall hanging for like a nursery. I've got that listed at $31 on sale for $31 plus shipping. It is vintage, a harder to find item. I couldn't find any comps that were exactly the same. So I'm hoping that's going to be like some nostalgia for someone and they're going to pick that up. Probably going to be a long tail item. And I'm seeing that paper right there. And a lot of times I will pick up paper like that and I will bring it home and use it for packaging material. But I left that behind. Um, and, oh, that looks like writing paper. So the kind I've got, I think is from Ikea and it's some sort of uh, drawing paper, but I just crinkle it up and use it for um, packaging like glass and stuff like that. I don't do a ton of breakables, but um, I will hit it with bubble wrap first and then put the paper around that to keep it from moving around inside the box. Little first aid kit, I left that behind. Would you guys have grabbed it? All right, we're gonna keep looking here. We're gonna keep digging. I like to dig to the bottom and find those small toys. Let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite thing to source? And what is the best thing you've ever found? Mine is definitely the scratch and sniff. And if you guys missed that video, oh my goodness. Go over to the Goodwill Bins video, even though I just told you what I found. You're gonna wanna see what I found. It says in the title, I will make thousands, and you can see all the Goodwill bins. So put Bolo Buddies thousands in the search bar, and it'll pull it up. It's just incredible. It's one of the best finds ever. I took that back out of my cart. <laughs> my cart. I think it's funny that I'm calling my tote a cart. Maybe I should have got this. Um, some of those old rafts can do pretty well. Um, I ended up putting it back, so I'm guessing that I comped it. I don't remember. Um, what I've done is I went to the bins and I went to the bins again and I went to the bins again and again, and I just put all the bags to the side and I wasn't doing a very good job of getting things listed. So, um, this past month I have been really focused on listing all of those items. So you guys are going to see a lot of Goodwill bins footage because I have finally listed my Goodwill Benz money pile. Um, still have some bags, but I, I'm getting down to the nitty gritty. I think I've only got maybe five or six bags left. And I think I've got six to 10 videos coming your way. So I'm gonna spread them out over March, April, and probably May. Um, I'm still editing and um, have like I said, five or six more bags to list. And then I'm still shopping. I just went last week and I told myself, don't go to the bins. And then I was like, but I want to. And I was like, don't do it. And I'm like, but I want to. Do you guys ever have that little fight with yourself? Like, don't source. You don't need to source. You need to list. And then you do it anyway. Um, I don't know about you, but I feel like I need to source sometimes. I had not been to the bins. I think the last time I went was February 1st. So it had been quite a while. And honestly, like I just felt like I needed to go. I just wanted to just go and enjoy a nice day of digging in the Goodwill bins. It's like so relaxing for me. Therapeutic. We'll call it therapeutic. I need to shop. <laughs> Let me know if you guys feel the same way. It's just like, it just, it's just so great. It's just so great. It's, it just is wonderful. I don't even know how to describe how wonderful it is. You guys are thinking this girl is nuts. She loves the bins. <laughs> That's what happens when I don't go for a month. It's like, you realize how much you appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's keep digging here. Oh, I did pick up this. What would you guys think about that? Would you have picked it up or would you left it behind? There was some sort of material shoved in the head. I did take that out and I filled it with bubble wrap. 
And that is available in my eBay store if anybody is inc so inclined to just be like, I love it so much, I want to buy it. <laughs> it's going to take the right buyer for sure. It's a crafter's doll head. I don't know if it's porcelain, ceramic. I think it's vintage. It definitely looks old. I did pick this up because it had a little Kroger shirt on it, and that is vintage advertising right there. Probably be a long tail item, but figure I can get eight to 10 bucks out of it with the right buyer. It might take three years to sell. I have no idea. We'll see. I will keep you guys posted in my what sold videos. Um, if you guys want to check out some of those, I've got a ton of what sold videos. I am a full-time reseller. So I break my videos down into eBay, bread and butter, what sold. Those are the items I sold for $35 or less. My big money bolo videos. Those are the items that I sold for big money. Mercari videos, Poshmark videos. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much how I break my bolos down so you guys can see what I'm selling. I um, do cross post with lists perfectly. So I start my items on eBay and then I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. Um, I do have a referral link down below and you can use referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that's going to get you 30% off your first month of lists perfectly. If you go down to the description of the video, I have a list perfectly video and it shows you how to use the catalog. It shows you how to just cross post from platform to platform. And then there's a lot of other information in that video of ways to use list perfectly. So definitely check that out before you decide I don't want to cross post because I will tell you there's so much more money that can be made by cross posting. It does take more time because you do have to cross post but you're getting different eyes on your items and it is totally worth it. And it pays for itself, totally 100% worth it in my opinion. I love it. I've been using it since 2019 and that is list perfectly. And again, there's a link down below. All right, there's a lot of junk today, a lot of stuff that I am just digging through. I'm not finding a whole lot. Um, I have found some decent stuff. I will definitely make some money but we've got a lot more digging to do here. But I am looking forward to checking out the comments to see what you guys think I missed. I'm guessing that picture right there that I just put to the side with the flower on it, you guys are gonna be screaming at me because I'm watching this back and I'm like, why didn't I pick that up? That was really cool. I don't know if it was damaged or it didn't even really look like I paid much attention to it. But, you know, we're all learning and... I know more now than I did when I made this video or when I was actually sourcing for this video. Every day I learn something new by watching other YouTubers and putting out my featured members videos. All right, so I just picked up that, um, what was it? Was it a buffalo? I think it was a buffalo. And I picked up this rhino, all these small toys. Um, I'm going to lot the buffalo with something else. So it's sitting to the side right now in a Ziploc bag, and I'm waiting to find some more animals to add to it. There are some Paw Patrol items here. I don't know why I sat that little helicopter back down. I probably should have got that. That was a nice little Paw Patrol piece, I think. Uh, that lion I did not get. There was, I think that was a Paw Patrol piece. Uh, PJ Masks, Paw Patrol, Octonauts, all of those uh, characters that are on the TV, I will pick those up. Minnie Mouse characters. I did pick up this firefighter. I thought he was kind of cool. Um, it was unbranded, but just kind of a different piece. And I felt like it's probably going to appeal to the right person. This monkey ended up being, I think, a McDonald's toy. So that's just sitting to the side currently with... Um, my other animals, but I do think that it is an older McDonald's toy and one of the nicer ones. That little chick ended up having a hole in it, so I went ahead and just donated it. Somebody's going to have to stitch it up. Thought about selling it as is and just decided that I didn't want to mess with it. Those are hex bug pieces and probably could have sold those, parted those out. I've never seen the big ones like this before, I probably should have grabbed those. Um, I will sell the hex bugs. The bad thing about the hex bugs is typically they don't have batteries in them 
and then you have to buy the little batteries and put them in to test them, which is kind of a pain. So um, they're just so tiny and getting those batteries in and out and you have to buy the batteries and then test them and then you can decide, you know, I usually keep my batteries and just put batteries not included. Otherwise it gets really pricey. All right. What are you guys thinking? Not that great of a day, right? So far. I have um, two other videos to do voiceovers on, so I can't remember what's in this video. So I can't tell you if there's good stuff to come or not. So we are just going to keep digging here. Do you guys pick up wood stamps? Let me know down in the comments. Okay, this right here has a wand that goes with it. And you search for this monkey with a wand, but I did not have the wand. I would not have known that it came with a wand. I used Google Lens to figure that out. And I think I can do okay just on the monkey as a replacement. That I think was a Power Rangers uh, weapon and I probably should have picked that up. I don't know, you guys let me know down in the comments. There are some uh, Disney toys that I pick up. The little water thing right there. I don't know why I didn't grab that. I did find one of those in another video where I did pick it up and I do have it listed. Um, surprised I passed that one by, but you know, I may just have not seen it. Who knows? I mean, it's right there in front of me and I don't even pick it up and look at it. So strange. All right. We're going to keep digging. Thank you guys all so much for being here. I'd love for you to subscribe if you're new here. Also, I'd love for you to tell me how you found the channel. Did I just pop up in your feed? Did you hear about me from another YouTuber? Have you been watching me for a while? Just let me know how you found the channel down in the comments. All right, this little bear, I'm gonna pass on that. I do pick up tons of plush. I love selling plush. Some of my uh, favorite plush resellers to watch are uh, The Rebel Reseller, Zombie the Bargain Hunter, and Cajun Reseller. They all sell plush and are super, super knowledgeable. Definitely check them out. I will try to remember to link them down below, but you can search them by name as well. But they, um, they specialize in plush and they really know their stuff. I'm learning. Now, this is cool. This brush um, was vintage. I couldn't find one exactly like it, and I priced that brush high, and we're going to see what happens. I do pick up refills for albums all the time. Uh, Creative Memories does the best, but I will pick up other brands. Um, I like these little rattles too. I can't believe I just put that down because those are kind of like the little loveys. Um, I feel like people look for them. And I just sat that one down without a second glance. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why I put it down. Tapes. Look at them. If they go with books or if they go with like Teddy Ruxpin or the Mother Goose, um, consider picking those up. Some of those cassettes can be worth some money if they go with something. I do look at sunglasses. I do look inside the sunglass cases. This guy I've sold a few times. He's from The Incredibles, and his face actually lights up red. Now, he didn't have any clothes on, so I decided to leave him behind, but if he would have been dressed, I definitely would have picked him up. But condition just... It just wasn't good enough. I can't remember what his name is, but he's the baby from The Incredibles. All righty. Look at this little shell thing. This is kind of cool. Would you guys have picked that up? Pretty interesting. It had a little seahorse on it, right? All right, we're going to keep digging. Lots and lots of trash this time. Man, you just never know. Did you see that? I just threw that album refill. I put one in my cart and then I just threw one to the side and dismissed it. It's so strange, you know, when you're moving so quickly, like you don't always see everything. This one's in our generation. I did grab her. I thought she was super cute. And she had on her apron and her little outfit like to grill out. And I just, I decided to pick that one up. Um, I usually don't pick up our generation, but... 
you know, I, I, I probably need to try it. Any DVDs that are Christian-based or anything like that, like Veggie Tales, I will pick those up. I do pretty well with those. Um, I've sold some VHS that are Christian-based, and um, those were from a thrift store, not from the Goodwill bins. But yeah, even VHS, right? Crazy. People are still buying VHS. I was talking in another video. I was like, my husband brought home a VHS player not long ago. And I'm like, a VHS player, huh? And that's so we can watch like the old movies. And we've been watching them and we use that VHS player. And so when I'm at the bins or out at the garage sales and thrift stores, I'm looking for VHS. And we are definitely DVD watchers. It was so funny. I was talking to my friend and I'm like, have you seen this movie? And she's like, yeah, like 10 years ago. <laughs> and I was like, oh, me and my husband just watched it. And um, she's like, really? I'm like, yeah, I have the DVD. Do you want to watch it? I don't even think she has a DVD player. It's so funny. Let me know down in the comments. Do you guys have a VHS player? Do you have a DVD player? Or do you guys do like Netflix and that stuff? Um, I did mention that we do have uh, cable uh, and we do have channels, but <laughs> I think it's so funny. We are so old school, but I kind of like it. I kind of like watching DVDs. All right. I'm looking forward to hear what you guys have to say. If you guys are going to, maybe it's just like, because we like vintage stuff, you know, I mean, we're thrifters, both of us. We, we like, uh, he likes flea markets. I, and he likes flea markets and estate sales. That's where he finds all the electronics. I mean, we have an old school record player in our living room and he is constantly upgrading the record player in his office. He likes all those big fancy name brand vintage record players. So if he finds one that's better, he'll fix it up and then get rid of one. And that's just kind of his thing. So, but I don't mind. I don't mind our old school record player. It's pretty cool, actually. All right. So this comes from a play set. A lot of times I will pick those up. That one wasn't marked. So I'm not sure what that one went to. This is another Play School Transformer. I believe this is Bumblebee. I'm not familiar with the one with the blue on it, but um, I was able to find some comps on it and I did get that listed. Okay, let's keep digging here. All right. This is kind of when it would be nice to have some background noise, right? Here's another refill page. This one did not comp out good at all, but thankfully it weighed very little. And a lot of those items will go under the media. Should I have got this clown? I'm feeling like I should have got that clown. It was kind of different, right? I know some of you get creeped out by clowns, but I don't really get creeped out by clowns. They're just clowns. <laughs> but I, I know some of you are just like really weird about clowns. Let me know if you're one of those people that just, you don't like clowns, tell me down in the comments. All right, checking the Uno cards. I will grab Uno if it is new and sealed. This little bug right here, I have not been able to, actually, you know what? I think I did list that. Okay, I had to go grab the screenshot. I knew I listed that little guy. That one is actually hard to find. So I've got that listed just under $20 or best offer. So we'll see what happens. I couldn't find the exact same one. So the game of life. Do you guys remember playing that as a kid? I used to love that game as a kid. All right. I see some Paw Patrol. The Paw Patrol, I usually pick up the smaller things, not always the bigger things. It really just depends. Um, anything C Patrol definitely is a pickup. I've done pretty good with those. Small lots are usually the way to go with Paw Patrol, but there are some that I will list individually depending on the character. Replacement bottles. This one's a Doc McStuffins replacement bottle. I do pick up replacements. 
Uh, again, it's something that kids lose. Parents will be looking for them. This one ended up surprising me a little bit. It was incomplete, unfortunately, but I did still list it kind of high. Um, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, that one is vintage as well. Okay, let's keep digging. Digging, digging. I'm wondering if I should have grabbed these. I know that there's some items like that, um, like the Navarone set that kind of look like that. I'm wondering if those were from that set. I did really well with a play set that I got at a garage sale. I mean, I made probably, gosh, five, six, maybe $700 on that play set that I picked up at a garage sale for two bucks. I parted the thing out. I sold an elevator piece for like $75, I think it was. It's been a year or two ago, but definitely a major bolo. Um, Navarone or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it's called. All right, I do find something here shortly, I do believe. Um, that was a pool stick. That would not be fun to ship. I left that behind. I don't even know why I looked at it because I, I don't like to ship that type of thing. <laughs> Maybe you can take it apart. I don't know. Halloween makeup, left that behind. You just never know what you're going to pull out of the bins. Is that a little dress for a doll? One thing with doll clothes that I struggle with is um, what size doll they fit on. Now, I do find a Cabbage Patch outfit right here, and I did pick this up. If it says Cabbage Patch on it, I'm picking it up because that's easy to list. So that one is available in my eBay store. And we're going to see what else we have. All right. Fill in my cart. <laughs> Fill in my tote. Here's another doll. Um, if it's American Girl, I am definitely picking it up. Uh, Batat, Our Generation. Um, I keep trying to think of what the other ones are. I don't typically pick those up, but I will from time to time, depending on which doll it is and the condition. Condition is so important. Like that one that I bought earlier in the video, it had Band-Aids on it, which was kind of annoying because I had to clean it up a little bit. But overall, the condition wasn't too bad, so and it had the clothing on it, so that's always a plus. I also look at the hair. If the hair is a mess, I'm leaving it behind, not messing with it. All right. It got really quiet. <laughs> I'm like, what do I say? What do I do? Hey, how about this? If you guys are not on Mercari, I do have a link down below and you can get $10 when you join with that link to shop. And when you sell $100 worth of stuff, you're going to get $20 to shop. And I love sourcing on Mercari. Um, love to buy on Mercari. So uh, if you're not on there, definitely check it out. And it's a great place to sell also. Like I said, I start my items on eBay and then cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. And Poshmark's been pretty good lately. Um, hit and miss. You know, it seems like when eBay's slow, the other platforms help me out. But eBay is definitely my number one. But I also have more items on eBay than I do the other platforms. So I think that, you know, makes a difference as well. One thing that does really well on Mercari is plush. Um, specifically the high-end, high-dollar Build-A-Bear. I did a video on it. Type in Bolo Buddies Build-A-Bear, and you'll be able to tell by the thumbnail the comparison between what Build-A-Bear sells for on eBay and what it sells for on Mercari. If you guys sell Build-A-Bear, especially the high-end ones, the ones that are worth the big money, and if you don't know which ones are worth big money, you definitely need to watch that video because there are some out there that go for hundreds of dollars. Here's a little lovey. I did pick this up. It's just a bread and butter. Super cute little item. Um, those are really easy to just throw in the wash. Um, I did end up getting it, so I sat it back down temporarily, but I did grab that. This is a puzzle, and I need to see if the pieces are there. This is one of those wood puzzles, but I think it looks kind of cheap. It's not like one of those high dollar ones, but I thought it was kind of cute. So um, I don't know if I'll end up 
donating it or what I'll do with it. I'll probably never get to it. Um, I don't really like to put puzzles together. I did plug this in and I did end up getting that and listing it. Here's another replacement bottle. There's some other replacement toys that I have not listed yet that I threw in there. Um, just haven't gotten to them yet. Haven't decided how I'm going to lot them up. So, all right, let's keep digging. Got this dinosaur here, and that one actually has sound. And you push on it, and it moves and has sound. I put that down in my... Um, tote, but I don't think I ended up buying the blue one. If I remember correctly, I comped it out and it didn't comp out very high. I found a ton of these bracelets and they are kind of nice, actually. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, which if I'm going to lot them up, if I'm going to sell them individually, there were so many of them. I probably got between 15 and 20 of them and most of them were new with tags. So still trying to decide what I'm going to do with those. I did pick up that little sloth. It is listed. And it's just a little bread and butter sloth. But, you know, everybody loves a good sloth. I put that down in my tote, decided to put it back based on weight and comparables. I decided it was not worth my time. So left that one behind. All right. Again, thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. And we're going to keep digging. I don't know what I just threw in there. Oh, that looks like an old record player. Or maybe it's meant to look old. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. And I have a bunch of Goodwill Bins videos. So definitely check out another one of those. Check out some of my What Sold videos. I also feature... Um, bolos from members of my Facebook group. So if you guys are not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, we are coming up on 85,000 members. Absolutely crazy. Um, but what I do is I post a screenshot and I invite everybody in the group to share their best monthly bolo. So let's say it's March. I would put share your best March bolo. And then I turn those videos into, or I turn those posts, the comments, into videos. So it really helps me learn and it helps everybody watching learn. If you guys would like to participate and share a bolo, that would be amazing. Um, just join the Facebook group, go to the announcements featured section, and you guys can share your bolo and then you can see it in a video. Super fun way to uh, learn and help others learn. So I really enjoy those videos. Um, learned so much from others, you know, just watching what other people are buying and selling can be so um, beneficial because especially in video format, like I'm a visual person, I like to actually see the item that helps me to remember what to look for. Um, so just hearing it, that that's tough for me. So I like to see it, see it and hear it. That's going to help me remember. And I get to see it, hear it, do a video on it, watch the video back to edit it. So I see the bolos like five or six times, which is good for me because I don't have the greatest memory. So would you guys have picked this up? Um, they were colored pencils. The case was in not that great of condition. It was missing two pencils and I took a best offer of $30 plus shipping and that sold really fast. So let me know down below. And after I listed it and bubble wrapped it, I found one of the missing colored pencils, but uh, that one stayed with me. I did not unbubble wrap it to put that pencil in. No way, no way. It was ready to go. All right. So what do you guys think? How did I do? Not a crazy good day, but they can't all be thousand dollar days, right? You know, a lot of the Goodwill bins for me is picking up bread and butter items like you see me doing here. Um, it, it's not always, you know, a $200 item that I find. Now, I do have a few videos that are like that, and those videos are great, and those are probably your favorites. Um, I've had some super scores, but a lot of my videos are just me digging through the bins, looking for the bread and butter that's going to make me that money. I mean, those colored pencils are probably going to pay for most of this trip. I really didn't get that much on this trip. 
I think I put that one back. If I remember correctly, I comped it out. I think it was like a luggage rope or something like to keep your luggage together. All right. We're getting close to the end here. But I'm still digging. Am I picking up Legos? Is that what I'm picking up? So what I do with the Legos is I just really save them. Unless it's something special, I put them in a bag and I use them. If I get a set that's almost complete, I will um, have miscellaneous parts. I do have some blocks. Um, I think they're a mixed lot over on Poshmark. Um, I have them listed by the bag, by the pound over there. Uh, just miscellaneous blocks. So I'll probably do that with my Legos eventually. I just have not had the time. It's not at the top of my list. Right now I'm just hoarding Legos. I'm like, if I see miscellaneous Legos in the bins, of course I'm going to grab them. They, that, you can sell it by the pound. That's easy money. I've been doing really well with the Duplo Legos, actually. Those are like the medium size ones. All right, you guys, I'm going to say thank you again so much for being here. I did pick up this caboodle. Um, I've got that listed. Uh, condition, fair, you know, pretty good for being thrown in a bin. Um, so I've got that one listed. I think I have another caboodle listed as well in my store. Uh, I thought those were going to sell quicker. Uh, there's Legos. So those are not listed again. <laughs> I'm just going to sit those to the side and get to them eventually. All right, we are coming up in the last minute of the video here. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I asked you lots and lots of questions. I look forward to hearing um, what you guys have to say um, about all of my questions. And I'm looking forward to seeing your timestamps of what you would have picked up. Maybe you're going to say, I would not have picked up anything. That was horrible. Sometimes it's just not great. All right, you guys, leave me a thumbs up down in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. And we're just going to let the end of this video kind of ride out. I think that was an LOL doll thing. And thanks for watching.